morning welcome to another video we're off today to uk ponies uk ponies and horses spring classic over at onley today for another ridden show with willow he's not best please because i'm stood in his stable but yeah so he's all dressed and ready we're just gonna muck him out and uh, then we get him out and get him brushed off and ready. So yeah, I've woke up full of cold, so I'm not feeling 100%, but it's show day, so can't complain. So yeah, I'm just gonna muck this lot out and then we we'll get on our way. So he's all unmugged and ready to load up, just giving him a quick brush off, but we will brush him off again when we get there because he will get covered in hay. But I can't leave the hood or the rug on him because otherwise he sweats on the journey, so. How are you feeling, Willow? Hey? No? Not feeling it. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, so we're just going to load them up and get going now. and see if I can get my hat tagged. But uh, see if I can get that done and then we'll uh, explain why afterwards. So we're just waiting for our class. He's been all right fidget bum because he's been on the lorry for a long time. Well, not a long time, but it's the longest journey that he's done for a while. Um, so he's been all right fidget. But yeah, I'm just gonna talk through why I've had my hat tagged for the year by the BSPS is currently we do the UK ponies and horses amateur class um, for the Royal International Qualifier but what that is it's we're all amateurs no producers allowed in the ring at all but it could be any mountain and moorlands we can have Dales, Fells, Highlands, Welshes, Connemaras, everything um, and I do think they've all got completely different ways of going that sometimes it's just hard to compete against the other breeds. Um, so the BSPS, although it does mean that I need to pay out another membership cost, the BSPS do a route to the Royal International Horse Show with a class with Welsh Section Ds only. So we're against our own type. Yes, there can be producers in there, but um, I don't think you see that many. So yeah, so we're going to go down the route as well as doing the amateurs and the BSPS. Um, there are rules that if I qualify Royal International with the BSPS route first, then I can't qualify for the amateurs. But if I qualify the amateurs first, I can then qualify for the Royal International with the BSPS within the same year. So it just gives us more options and uh, more classes to do but yeah I'm gonna start brushing them off there is still quite a wait for our class uh, enough but yeah I'm gonna brush them off and give him something to do now so we're finally tacked up and ready and um, at shows like this the warm-up arenas are never really big and there's always a lot of people in them so I like to, there's plenty of space over at this venue, so I like to give him a good ride outside on the grass. This is what he's used to anyway, being schooled in a field instead of an arena. So just gave him a little run round out here and then we head on up to the school. Oh, 
And then we finally go into our class a fair few hours later than we actually expected it to be. But I think there was 14 in the end in this class. And Willow's never competed in this arena. We've always been in the two indoor schools, but we've never actually been outside. And on the left-hand side, when we come around this corner in a minute, the fence has actually blown down. But he wasn't phased by that at all, so it was all good. And then we go on to our show. He stood really nicely for the judge today. If you haven't seen his first show of the year, go and check out that video that I'll link down below. He wouldn't stand that day. So we just walk off and then we do our counter on the straight. I would like a little bit more length to that first part, but we have to use what we're given on the day. So then canter him round down the middle here and then change the rein and canter left and then onto the gallop along the back side gallop is willow's worst pace so i try and slow it down in this corner to then show a bit of difference a little bit of speed and then slow him down again and then into trot down the diagonal and then round the corner and down into walk and halt. I should have left it a few more seconds before I saluted just to, the halt wasn't square or anything at all, he moved so. But he behaved. That's all I can ask for. It was certainly an improvement to the first show of the year. And then we go on to the in-hand section. Again, he stood perfectly for this, this time, unlike the first show. And the judge was just talking to me about his colour. Because as I say, he's going through a mouldy stage. He looks awful where the dark colour is underneath so you just get them to stand up nicely for the judge so they can check them all over and you walk away turn around and run at the judge I do have a video on my channel that I'll link down below as well on how to do an in-hand show. So you run at the judge, run them over, then move, and then you carry on going, turn the corner, which was not easy to do on this surface, and uh, turn around and then back to walk and then halt.
So we've just got back from the shower and just emptying out the horse box, just put the lay back in bed. Um, I'm really pleased. We ended up on fourth place, which I'm really happy with. I never worry about where we're first pulled in in the lineup because um, judges have said many times uh, that he just sort of blends in on the go round with everyone else. He goes a bit flat. His time to shine really is when he does his individual show. And of course, like today, I canter on the straight. I can do a few fancy moves, what I feel that he needs to do to gain points in his individual show. So yeah, I never worry that we're not in the placings to begin with. I don't think much of that at all. Um, and so yeah, so I'm pleased we come from nowhere to fourth place. And the judge's feedback just was that he would look better once he's got his summer coat, which I agree with. I um, don't like his winter coat at all. And um, he's going through a mouldy stage. I call it his mouldy stage, where he's um, losing some of his coat. So you can see through, it's darker underneath than on top. And he just looks a really horrible colour. Um, I clipped him really early, um, I think October time-ish, and I've not clipped him since, and it's still so short. But yeah, so all I'm gonna do for that, he's starting to come out now, but I'm just gonna help it out now by turning him out naked with no rug on, so he can just have a good roll. He rolls every single day, so he can get filthy dirty. And then when I groom him, it will help pull out his wind coat as well. So just try and get him to his nicer colour um, as quick as we can. But so, yeah, I'm really pleased with today. Long day, a hell of a lot of waiting round. They were running really late. So I'm pleased Will I still up to his game. And I'm happy I did change him back to his Pelham because I just think he just gave a better ride. I don't, although I can't say the double bridle doesn't suit him because he's still done exactly what I wanted him to do in the double bridle. The Pelham is so much more better for him, I think, in the show ring. But yeah, so on to the next show. But if you like what you see, please like and subscribe. Thank you.